Hello, darlings. I apologize for being away last week. Being sick for three months really took its toll on me, and you didn't even notice I was gone, did you? <laughs> Here's what you'll need to create this inexplicably popular nail art. Let's go. In the interest of time, I've already painted the nail white. Okay, I forgot to press record, Sharon. Go! Start by painting the lunula the same color as your flocking powder. In my case, black. Once you're finished, cure the nail or let the polish dry completely. Once it's cured, remove the tacky, uncured layer of gel. Next, I'm putting some builder gel on the black area. Do not do this. Use a non-wipe top coat instead. Once cured, the tacky layer came through the flocking powder and I had to start over. Considering this was my fourth attempt at this nail, I was pissed. Learn from my mistakes. Dab the powder into the gel and put it in the lamp to cure. Once you remove it from the lamp, you can easily brush off the excess powder. And it's time to begin the tweed design. Literally just make random crosses all over the nail. That's it. This may be the easiest design I've ever tried. However, getting the desired look was anything but easy. Here's my advice. Use a super, super thin brush, very little gel, and take your time. The brush I'm using has maybe four or five bristles on it. This line I just did was crooked. I should have wiped it off and started over, but I didn't realize how much I cared until after I cured it. Seriously, if this happens, wipe it off and try again. This was my fourth attempt at this nail, so by this point I was like, f*** it, I'm over it. Once you've finished with the red, cure it and begin the black crosses. Seriously though, why the f*** is this popular? Does anybody own tweed anything anymore? Do the 20 somethings watching this video even know what tweed is? Did it make a comeback when I wasn't looking? Like this denim thing here in Japan, people wearing denim from head to toe is a thing now. Back in my day, if you wore that mess, guarantee you get your ass handed to you. Cure the nail and let's begin the gold layer. If less is more for you, you can stop after the gold layer and apply a top coat. I wanted the design a bit more dense, so I'm going to do a second layer of all three colors, starting with the black for literally no particular reason. Now, I personally like the design the way that it was, but that crooked red line caused internal rage which led to a mysterious viral outbreak that annihilated a good portion of the population of London. So to settle things down, I decided to add a little more crosses to better mask the mistake. This could have been avoided and London spared had I just corrected the mistake when it happened. Things to take away from this. Number one, don't be lazy because it will just create more work for you in the future. Number two, the idea of transferring rage like a virus is absurd, but I still think 28 Days Later is an awesome movie. Once I finished all the crosses, I outlined the velvet in gold, but black would have looked great too, I imagine. Once you're finished, you can cure the nail. If you're using good gels or polish, just put on your top coat. I'll have to wipe the tacky layer clean or the colors will smear and make the design look all gross and amateur. See that nasty mess? I hate you cheap gels. Get the fuck out of here. Top coat that bad boy and admire it thoroughly. I also added a bit of builder gel and put on some hearts. I actually don't like hearts, but these were pretty stinking cute. Guys, that's it. You're finished. I can't lie, once I put these things on, I was in love. I don't get it, but I, I get it. You get it? I guess your nail trends are alright, Japan. If you try these out, please share them with me on Twitter and Instagram. This week I'm holding a scarf given to me for Christmas because it's beautiful, but if you have any idea of what ridiculous item I should hold next, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big ol' thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to be amongst the first people to see my new videos. Thank you so much for watching. Now get off your ass and go create something.